Hey everybody, JP here. All right, I just got a few things in. A couple things. Got a video card that I've been waiting on. First thing I want to say is this video card right here, right now is holding a world record. There's a lot of people out there doing videos about the 6900 XT that broke a world record and they're claiming that their gigabyte card did it and they're saying that they have the card that did it and whether it's a, a EK or whatever, well, it's not. Feel free to look it up, Google it out. The 6900 XT that basically beat out to every 3090, everything, it got a 3.3 plus gigahertz Broke the world record. It's made by Power Cooler 6900 XT Ultimate. And this is what I got. Everybody here, the first one. This, I guess it's kind of a little, little bit of an unboxing. I haven't seen it myself yet. Seems to have some pretty decent packaging here. I just hope that's what I pull out of here. <laughs> Wouldn't that suck? Voila! And yes, sir, there it is. The power color. Power color. Did I say cooler? Power color. Power color. 6900 XT Ultimate. Um, from looking at benchmarks, and I'm going to run my own. It pretty much cleans house on my Asus Strix 3080. <laughs> kind of sad, but we're not talking about using um, we're not talking about using ray tracing either. So just straight up, no ray tracing. It beat out the 3080 pretty much all the way around by about 10% or so, and took the 3090. FE and um, I don't know what it could do against the Strix or one of the other companies, but probably in about synthetic benchmarks, yes, that were made that lean towards AMD. Um, it showed wins pretty much across the board, and uh, in an all about all around game benchmarks, this pretty much I would say went about 50-50 or broke even. I would say it broke even in about 50% of the games and beat the 3090 by, I wanna say, from what I seen between seven and 12% depending on what game it was. So the card is definitely a screamer. Ah! Like me, screamer. Um, so let's do a little unboxing here. Very nice card from everything I've read. I haven't even looked at it yet. Remember, this is the Ultimate Edition. There's one other edition that they make called the Ultimate Limited. They made 1,000 of those. It's the exact same card. The only difference is it comes with two keycaps for the keyboard with the devil on it for the red devil which this is the red devil okay so in the box we have a manual nice looking manual nice and clean i might look at it okay we have A card, I guess you can carry it around and say, check it out, I'm a Red Devil card. Red Devil holder. What else is in here? And oh, I see a sticker or something. A little Red Devil, Red Devil sticker. Red Devil sticker. I'll put that back in there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep this. I'm gonna review it and sell it. Um, I'm still going to keep my Strix because the NVIDIA is, it has, it has the setup in it for, um, for streaming, for, 
it's it's pro well I don't know 16 gigs of RAM this probably wouldn't I know it, it, it'll stream and edit pretty good but it's not exactly doesn't have it down as well as Nvidia when it comes to video editing okay I guess we, we got a little um, looks like an ARGB wire so I imagine on there you can change it somewhere oh wow what else we got in here this stuff aside holy schmoly whoa I thought we'll get to this in a second huh? I thought my Strix was a big card oh wow nice okay bracket it mounts I guess this must be I don't know how this goes I'll have to look at it but got a sticky thing on the bottom of it so you can put it on the bottom of your case I guess it's two different types and um, a little rubber bumper in here yeah some screws I'm surprised they didn't make it ARGB oh I see what it does it goes on the side here and holds the card up because the card is just so big okay Wow, it just barely fits in fits inside of the anti-static bag, the bloody bag. Holy mackerel! You guys see this? What a holy shoes! Wow, they didn't put a protective thing on there. Uh, AMD does that a lot. That's all right. Solid black solid black um, plate on the back it has a nickel coated copper cool oh man three eight pin plugs what does this thing say it needs for a power supply okay Power supply, recommend nine, oh, 900 watts. That's got to be for overclocking. Okay, the thing about this card that makes it special is this is one of the few cards it is completely unlocked. It's unlimited. There is no cap on where you can go with it. Like I said, 3.3 gigahertz. That's the fastest any card has ever gone. Okay, it looks like we have a, a 100 a 100 and a 90 in the middle that is absolutely a total total three slot card okay feels like a I don't know if it's metal or it might be aluminum back plate feels like it we got some ARGB probably lights up red with a devil head horns on the back power color likes their little thingy here where it, it lights up and it's a little transparent over here I noticed so it probably yes yeah it sends out if you can see right over in here it sends out some light to go across nothing over here so it's probably like a fade across yeah it goes all the way up to a point okay what else do we have here we have it's a nice clean card I like the look of it definitely different we have the Red Devil logo Radeon Devil we have a do bios mode we have an overclock to the side of the card where the bracket is and a silent mode to the front uh, there's no sense in keeping it in silent mode uh, it has definitely a nice setup on the um the cpu bit with the cpu the gpu goes you can see the little tiny it's not even really what I would call capacitors. Everything is completely all solid state. 
They spared no expense. Three eight pins, nine hundred watts. Holy mackerel! Okay, uh, I can see why it runs so cool. There's no, the cover doesn't uh, restrict any air in any way. So when the fans are spinning, it seems that it's able to blow out. It has nice clean aluminum. The fins obviously must be aluminum, nickel coated copper. Um, wow, this thing's a beast. Okay, in the back, what do, what do we have here? I just spotted something. I wanted to go back to it and take a closer look. Well, wow, yeah, right here. I don't know if you can see that. See that right there? It's three. It's it's a little. It's a little. Um. It's a header. And the pins kind of do a little kind of bend on it, and it, they stick out so you can stick that ARGB plug on there and then remove it once you sync it up with your board. I imagine you really don't need to do that. Most people are going to want to keep the tradi traditional red. Yeah, all right. So pretty much I just wanted to do a quick unboxing on this. Wow, this is a monster. What a nice-looking card. I'm looking forward to getting this into my system and okay so this is my fist this thing's as thick as my fist now I don't have a small hand I don't have a big hand I'd say I'm probably medium so yeah that's that's a bloody thick things longer than my forearm goes halfway down my hand so probably close to 13 inches long a lot of this is just guessing off the top of my head, but I think I've been around long enough to kind of be able to guess at it. Yes, this is a metal back plate, and actually it's got a metal front shroud on it. Yes, that's metal. It definitely seems it. Oh, I just cracked my fingernail. Fell inside of there. I have a little fingernail flying around in there. Okay, what is... There's another part right here. Part of the bracket. And it looks like this is one solid. I don't know if it breaks into two pieces, the, the heat sink on there. Well, there we have it. The power color. Red Devil 6900 XT Ultimate. The world record holder with air cooled. They didn't even want to cool it break that record 3.3 gigahertz 3.3 gigahertz that is insane that is insane all right wow then we will get back to doing the benchmarks and seeing how this thing runs in games I finally got my streaming stuff set up things are looking pretty good on that end I just put a little stream up of part of a game this way I can do my benchmarks I got a benchmark program I can run that during the game and we can get the frame rates but I can imagine that that kind of I'm not going to bring it up to 3.3 I'll push it up a little bit maybe I'll go to 2.6 2.7 but um I bet you that thing in um in, in, in 1440, 1080, it's going to get into the couple hundreds in the frame rate. It'll drop down, and I already know for a fact that the NVIDIA in 4K will definitely catch up. That's where the NVIDIA shines. But seeing only about 2% of the world population at games uses uh, 4K, so it's actually still the majority is in 1080p which is strange i would always i would think people would definitely go for 1440 it's definitely a lot cleaner and you still stay close to the frame rate of a 1080 at least a lot closer than going up to 4k they just from if you if you're ever getting 185 frames in call of duty uh 150 in battlefield in 1440 and you jump into 4k it's going to drop probably down to 60 65 so 
it's going to definitely slow things down. All right, folks. I'm going to get this pack back up and ready to do a review on it this weekend. So I'm going to put another short video up on this box that I have over here. This case. We're going to talk about that. Wow, I'm psyched. Okay, we'll be back.